Greetings and salutations, everybody. I am the Duck of Indeed. It is time to continue Banjo-Kazooie once they stop picking on each other. We were not able to complete Bubble Gloop Swamp yet because we still need the shoes that make you run real fast. So for now, we are going to continue on. I am in, in case you're not sure, I'm in this room. I am in the room with the big Gruntilda statue. Hello. Many tricks are up my sleeve. To save yourself, you'd better leave. Nah. I don't feel like it. Gotta go over here. And we're gonna have more of Gruntilda's lair to explore, which will be fun. Ow! What the heck, dude? Shut it! Pick it on me. Gosh. 260. We got plenty. 400. Woohoo! Now we can get that Jiggy inside of the Gruntilda statue pretty soon, I think. Because I think we can. We're in some kind of Egyptian type room. Which is cool. Oh, it's the sky. Hello, the sky. Let's see. Okay, we can break this like that. What's this do? Don't need that right now. Plenty of eggs. Okay, we don't need that because that'll that'll get you over here. That gets you across the sand. That is the entrance to world number six. Which is cool. You can I like the pictures on the walls. There's a pyramids and palm trees and a camel. A camel named Gobi. You will meet him later. It's cool. Cool! Actually, I probably should go across there because I think Brentilda's over there. Let me check out this area real quick. There is... There is a sarcophagus right there. Not sure what kind of critter that is, though. Is that a bear like Banjo? I'm not really sure. Hmm. It's cool. I like this area. Because it's cool. And we can go through here. Boink. It's over here. I can see it's quite hard work to lump around that squawking jerk. <laughs> You're funny, Grunty. She makes me laugh. <laughs> now, we can do something. <laughs> we can use that to jump into the big giant pot. Whee! Huzzah! We pressed a switch in Bubble Gloop Swamp and that, that opened up her hat so that we could go into the statue. Otherwise, I'm not really sure what would happen if you uh, went through the pot. But yeah. Another Jiggy obtained. Let's go visit Brentilda real quick, and then we will head on over to world number five. I'm not a big fan of world number five, because it's a snow level. And I've never liked snow levels, because they're slippery. It makes walking very frustrating. But we must suffer through it to get to the good worlds. My favorite worlds are the last four. It'll be so awesome. I'm so excited. Just over here should be Grunty's sister. One of them, at least. She has a bunch, actually. We'll meet them in Banjo-Tooie. Hello, Bruntilda. What do you have for me? Grunty's best friend at Witch Shul. Witch Shul. Hehehe. <laughs> Was the awful Sweaty Betty. <laughs> That's an unfortunate name. Sweaty Betty. Let's see. When relaxing, she usually reads Warty Girls Weekly Magazine. That's very strange. And we have one more. While sipping a glass of her favorite smoothie elephant sweat. Okay. Oh, you poor dears. Your energy is low. Let me fill it up for you. Thanks, hon. That's better. That is better. Thank you. 
Thanks, miss. But yeah, we meet uh, two more of Gruntilda's sisters in banjo -Tooie. They're not nice like Gruntilda, unfortunately. Not nice at all. Cool. Got some more stuff to remember. Now up the steps. I want to look at the walls. I always like to look at the details. I don't know. There's a... Uh, that looks kind of like Banjo. Hee <laughs> hee. I like all the detail they have. It's fun. It's fun and neat. Okay, let's get rid of these guys real quick. There are spider webs on the floor. You need to shoot them with eggs. How bright they are, your stupid shorts. A target for my dumb cohorts. Get rid of, I think three eggs? Yeah. That's another cauldron. And now we have a shortcut. Yay! That's it. You've created a shortcut. Hop in and see. Nah, I don't want to go there real right now. But yes, it's a shortcut to like the second room of her lair, I think. That's where we came in. That's kind of scary. That's very scary. We're in some kind of weird cave now. Yeah. Not gonna go that way right now. Gotta watch out, huh? You can get health from those guys normally, but you don't want to mess with them. Because they will chase you with bees. I'm just gonna go over and see if they say anything. Gonna talk? Ah! Touch my honey this time and you'll be sorry. They won't chase you too far, but uh, just gotta watch out. Watch out for the bees. Yeah, there will be something here later, so make sure you get rid of the spider webs. Later. Let me just see. I'm not opening other doors right now because I'm waiting until I've completed the worlds in this area. This one is 350. We got plenty, but not yet. Not yet. Up here, I think, is another note door. This one is 450. We do not have enough for that one yet. And past here, right over Chia. He is. Oh, I think Brent. I think there's another Brentilda person here to see. Another cauldron. This one is not a shortcut yet. Right over here. There she is. Hello. More weird, disturbing information. The disgusting Gruntilda has tadpoles on toast for breakfast. Okie doke. Well, people eat frog legs. I don't know if it's too weird. Okay. Let's see. Then she usually has slug stew for dinner. Yuck. Yuck indeed. Then again, that's kind of like snails, so again, I'm not sure if it's that weird. Wordbags then finishes with rat sorbet for dessert. How horrid. Well, I heard rat tastes like chicken, so it may not be that disgusting. <laughs> My real question is what grocery store does she go to to get this stuff? Mine doesn't sell that. See, okay, let's get some more eggs. I used a few. So, I should get some. Don't fall, Banjo. You might break your legs. I'll be fine, of course, but... I care about you, Banjo. Oh, you're fine. Get up. Get up, you lazy bum. <laughs> I'm joking, Banjo. I'm joking. You know I love you. I love you both. It's Let's look at this area real quick. Let's look before the evil snowmen get here. Once the world's been open long enough, there's enemies outside of it. They've got ice caves over there. At least uh, very, very flat ice caves, but... They're trying. It's a Nintendo 64. It's the best they can do. And a picture of Benju and Kazooie. It looks like he's got uh, some ill will for them back there. He looks like he has a snowball ready for them. I don't like the snowmen here. I don't like them one bit. Rareware likes evil snowmen. You may remember Bleak from 
Donkey Kong Country 3. He was terrifying. Join me now and dump the bear. That little backpack then I'll wear. I think Banjo looks a lot more stylish in the backpack than Grunty would. It's a stylish backpack. You look good in it, Banjo. There's the little fast shoes. Don't think you can use these until you found out how. I like put you on my feet, maybe? This? We can't do anything with. You have 12 seconds and you can't reach it unless you use the fast shoes. And even then it's difficult, so we'll have to wait on that. I still don't know why I need lessons on how to wear shoes, but I don't know. What the heck was that? Oh. <laughs> Whoops. That's, that's the flying disc breaking. Yeah. <laughs> that scared me. I was like, what's going on? Uh, I think that's everything. Whee! Let's get a little head start. I don't know if there's tons we can do in Freeze Easy Peak yet, but we'll start. We will start it. I don't want the video to go too long, so I'll make sure I don't do too much. The Peak's got another new move waiting for you. If you can find it, I'm sure I can. So, let's see. Like I never, I don't like icy levels. They're just too slippery. And you can't, the water, you can't go in the water because it's too icy. And there's evil snowmen throwing stuff at you. It's very stressful. It's a very stressful place. What's up, kids? Wow, where is our presents? Our dad, Boggy, said he was fetching them. He's been gone ages! Wow! Anything to say, kid, or is it just the one who's gonna talk? Talk to me. I don't know. I don't think the other ones are gonna talk. Oh, you're fine, you whiny babies. There was a mumbo token behind the table. There's a picture of Boggy right now. Boggy and two of the kids. And the snowman. And Banjo and Kazooie. Does Boggy know them? I don't remember them being acquaintances before this. It's kind of strange that they have a picture of our main characters in their house. Okay. I won't question it. Let's see. Let's see if we can slide down and get them all. There's Boggy right now. Look. Whoop. I missed a few. I missed almost all of them. Grown, my stomach aches. I shouldn't have eaten that shiny thing. Someone help poor Boggy. We can't help him right now. You would think that you could just like do this, do this and like knock it free, but you can't. You have to do something similar to that, but not that. It's like that, but it's not that at all. It's completely, definitely not that. But it's so much like that. So we'll be back for Boggy. That's why he hasn't come home to his kids. Because he's got a tummy ache. Whoop. Whoop. Nine. Eh, no. No. I hate this snowman. Let's see. We're going to start by going this way. Because I think Bottles is this way. There's a giant Christmas tree here. We'll get to light it up later. Evil ice cubes. Seems easiest to get them using uh, Kazooie's beak attack. And also, there are certain enemies that take two hits, but if you uh, if you use the beak attack, it is it counts as two hits, so you only have to do it once. Very useful. Kind of like the swamp. There's a transformation here that lets you go in the water without getting hurt, so that's cool. That I should probably wait for that. Uh, before going in the water to get things. Yeah. Yeah. Do that later. I don't want this video to go too long, but we should at least talk to Bottles. See if I can look at the tree without them attacking me. I hate those guys. I don't know why he's all bouncy over there. Eh. I hate Sir Slush. He is evil. There's a pretty tree. Oh, it's the moon. Hello, moon. <laughs> he bottles us right over here. No, stop it! I hate them. I hate snowmen. Snowmen are scary. 
time for some aerial action with my <laughs> devastating beak bomb attack. You can see that Banjo slid away because the ice. <laughs> nice one, Goggles. Tell me more. When you're flying, press X to launch Kazooie at a target like a missile. Choose your targets carefully as it costs a red feather. And if you hit something, you will get hurt. So be careful. You've learned all the moves I can teach you on this world. Yes. Yes, we have. I think I will be showing you that new move soon, but not quite yet. Because I don't want this video to go too long. So it's something you guys can look forward to. We're going to probably do one of the most annoying challenges in this world first. Which is getting rid of all the snowmen. So it's necessary to have the new move to do that. So that's what we're going to take care of next time. Thanks for watching everybody. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. And visit us at virtualbastion.com for more gaming goodness. Thanks for watching. Goodbye and you're welcome.